Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for more than 500 days, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today, we are going to check the newest information from the developers of the game. Finally, we are getting some updates regarding the future patches, which should be interesting simply because we have not had any information what we are going to have in a future season. And I'm quite excited because sometimes these kind of silences can be uh, exchanged in a pretty good news, right? Because I guess like developers of the game have been working on some stuff and I'm quite interested what kind of things we are going to expect from the future season. Uh, some of you may have missed uh, the patch notes from the uh, Call of Dragons and that's why it's my first time reading it and uh, let's see what kind of changes and what kind of exciting new things will be added to the game uh, because um, after Season of Stripe we have no idea what to expect from the future. The new update is called Depth of the Winter, that's the uh, patch name I guess. And let's try to understand what we are getting in the future of the season. Uh, first of all, the uh, biting frost has descended, which means the snow will be gone. New season talents. Players can create infantry and cavalry army groups and invite other lords to join them and fight shoulder to shoulder. It's like a creating, I guess, something like groups of couple of marches while you can invite, of course, your alliance or warband members, which like sounds and reads pretty interesting, uh, but I guess it's depending on the gameplay, right? It's pretty interesting that we don't have any marksmen or major flying unit shoulder-to-shoulder uh, -shoulder battles, but so far we are getting infantry and cavalry. That's a new seasonal talent thing, and it's we should actually test it until we're going to have uh, any kind of opinions uh, regarding this uh, talent, right? Uh, brand uh, like field moral players can select one of their own legions to grant buffs to both of their own legions and alliance legions surrounding them. I get some kind of supportive style of a legion which will be giving backs buffs to other other players who will be around them. Which yet again I think we need to check it until we're gonna have some kind of new opinion. Uh, as always, we are getting brand new seasonal policies which will allow us to configure the gameplay of the new season uh, because policies are really really important uh, paramount championship is here the share your glory players will represent their entire servers in the fight and every member of the fight first and second place winners uh, servers will receive glorious rewards and also uh, make predictions on the winning players and server that can that will come from the win amazing prize. Um, I guess mainly pay to win players uh, tournament because they will be the main winners. Maybe if they will uh, configure the gameplay in a way that your actual uh, like town doesn't matter in this tournament, but I think it will be pretty complicating. That's why I think uh, this might be some great uh, tournament for for pay to win players and also fun thing is that everybody will be available to make predictions my guess is that we're gonna be able to bet some resources maybe some gems and uh, if you're gonna have a correct prediction you are getting some prizes some winning rewards uh, which is always important to have right a um, new championship new event um, let's see if we it, if it will have some kind of effect uh, in the future of uh, call of dragons uh, Festival of Revival event series, that's whenever I see this thing, I I, I have my, in my mind that there will be a lot of new rewards. Um, I guess Revival Ball Machine, we already know about it. Festival of Fortitude, the amazing event uh, to get a lot of rewards. Um, Alliance Quiz, yet again, we have seen something like this and I totally uh, agree because it was quite fun to play with Alliance members. 
and great hates great hates means that we're gonna have a new uh, city skin i hope it will be for marksman because i have saved a lot of uh, speed ups for this great hates event and in general i think every call of dragons free to play player is saving a lot of speed ups for great hates event because i think that the only event when you can get some city themes which is giving quite a lot of buffs and it's pretty important especially during uh pvp section of the game and i hope um everybody will get their desired city theme in terms of uh, the skin right uh, a smooth road to prosperity new heroes here here we go right finally we are getting some new heroes added the legendary hero Danfell infantry pvp tank available from the lucky spins and wheel of destiny uh, more of a free to play friendly infantry uh, hero which is uh, which has quite amazing talents pvp tank and tank talents are one of the best in infantry heroes and the second hero uh, hero's name is mogro infantry garrison skill legendary garrison uh, hero for infantry players uh, quite good available from the wheel of destiny and strongest lords event i think both of the infantry heroes are having amazing talents uh, both of them should be pretty strong because uh, after Goresh and Skolgul, it helped in infantry meta, especially during uh, mass PvP alliances against alliances. And I think these two new heroes will just jump in the meta and be the best, right? Okay, added the epic heroes. Finally, we are getting some epic heroes, right? Uh, Nyarnin infantry gathering skill. Uh, skill talent tree is pretty interesting maybe it will be usable in pvp and tara overall gathering support support and overall means some fun right can be summoned from the heroes page and obtained from the gold and silver chest uh, finally we are getting some new epic heroes in the game it was kind of obvious in my opinion whenever they said like two patch notes ago that uh, gathering uh, heroes are coming to the town um, i think it's interesting because we have support talent and skill talent uh, on the uh, on the these epic heroes i'm not sure if these epic heroes will be straight up great in pvp but i guess um whenever this patch will uh, be launched and in couple of months we might see some new variety in terms of uh, hero pairs in the game because players love to check new stuff and how you can use the new stuff in a most perfect and uh, new ways right also what we can see here uh, we are getting a new artifact added the legendary artifact shield of this stubbornness infantry pvp control artifact available from the forge of the light and right reach of the forest events which are mainly pay to win events right uh, control talent uh, for this artifact seems interesting maybe it will have some stun or some uh, i don't know like immobilizing or maybe yet again one more um, like agro control but we need to check it right we can we can only see that the new uh, artifact is coming to town but um, what can of skill this artifact will have is pretty unknown and yeah finally we are getting a new warpet uh, which is moonbear uh, which can be captured in the field and my guess is that this uh, warpet will be great for at least one of the legendary heroes or maybe even both because generally when new heroes are coming to the town especially legendary ones and uh, pvp ones um, they are being most likely quite good hero pairs themselves like Danfell or Magro and I think both of them can work as a primary because tank is great talent tree and skill is actually great uh, if you want to deal some more damage uh, to the enemy right as even richer combat experience uh, this feature like uh, new season combat feature uh, this feature will be added at the end of the season of uh, seasons for the servers who are already midway through the season while pre-war servers will be able to see them immediately following the update alliance siege bastions players can build bastions to expand their alliance territory and attack other alliance buildings and can deploy their legions on to garrison them uh, legion that are that will die at the end of the season will be revived uh, that's the osia um name of this talent uh, and i'm in season of stripe i already have this kind of 
uh, added to the game. Uh, faster infantry rally and garrison combat in increased the uh, speed of the battle for infantry during rally and garrison melee combat. Uh, though this will not change the result of combat or the number of wounded units, uh, the proportion of the damage from for the both sides will be increased, reducing the amount of attraction required. Uh, quite good because infantry rallies, especially if they were hitting each other, was quite a lot of time uh, to finish. It was quite boring to look, especially if uh, uh, players were reinforcing always. Uh, finally, it's get it's kind of fixed, right? Because it shouldn't be like that, uh, and I will call it as a little fix improved alliance uh, siege bastions you cannot continue to build upgrade or repair alliance buildings while they are under attack from alliance siege bastions it, it should be bug and it's kind of fix uh, shorten the contestion phase when occupying a behemoth layer for the first time for four hours to one hour allowing you to more quickly access behemoth elite rates quality of life changes right you can now spend gems to purchase additional challenge attempts beyond the three daily attempts in tournament of champions uh, due to increase in available daily attempts we have changed the corresponding score values for each class i guess they are kind of nerfing the uh, points you are getting because you might have you can have more attempts more attempts mean uh, if you will win uh, you will get you will have more points if you will lose you will have less points an improved alliance system okay let's check uh, what kind of changes we are getting from the alliance system i uh, changed certain alliance member limit bonuses and changed bonus provided by alliance tower in home realms i guess uh every like before every 10 alliance tower was giving one extra uh, member limit from now on it will be five alliance tower which will uh, which is quite good um changed bonuses provided by behemoth and i guess the uh, same uh, will go with the behemoths uh, which are giving you the member limits right uh change the alliance siege tower attack range alliance siege towers can no longer attack cities outside of their current region which is great change i have been the i have been on the on another side of this uh, change which was before which like I, I had to teleport away fixed an issue where players can uh, could gain over 20k member points per day for building alliance buildings in certain circumstances uh, players can uh, now view individual cooldown times for the alliance skills with vitality boost um, a smoother road to, um, to prosperity improved the user experience for the exchange house when new items uh, on the sales are refreshed players can more easily obtain updated information which is nice exchange house purchase limit are now defined by the level of your bazaar the purchase limit uh, at level 25 will be same as current purchase limit which is good and also improved the auto gathering feature when gathering legions are attacked it triggering the talent leeway and returning them to the city their auto gathering operation will end um, and also of course we have some other additional improvements right added a story for new heroes danfell and moguro narnin and tyra i guess we are getting four uh, new stories uh, some ways to get some free rewards maybe some gems and of course some tokens right the hiking can now can now provoke a approval for migration applications the high king will now see a red dot notification on the management screen and i guess these changes are mainly for the high king gameplay which i'm not and i hope my high king will be reading these patch notes because they should be interesting okay so overall what's new and what's good about these patch notes i think the best thing is that we are getting four new heroes uh two of them are legendary infantry heroes and two of them are gatherers which are epic ones and yeah i'm excited regarding epic heroes because it's actually like first time you are getting epic heroes in the game right regarding talents of two new legendary heroes amazing talents i think interesting artifact uh, finally we are getting a new warped which will be good i guess for the new heroes and of course uh, the event section great hates are always welcome because new city theme is always uh, great to have especially for free to play players because i hope everybody saved some uh, speed ups for this event because i have been saving my speed ups for two seasons 
to get the appropriate and great city team for archers for myself and I will I will have my fingers crossed uh, in terms of steam and I will want it to have as a um, archer one right uh, as always guys if you like the video press like subscribe share it will give me more and more motivation to make more content for this amazing game and yeah if you missed the patch notes uh, here we, here it is um, and as always uh, I wish everybody good luck doesn't matter where you are guys we are going to see each other really, really soon. Bye-bye and good luck.